So we decided a little while back that we're going to start taking more spontaneous trips, just getting out of the house, no planning, and seeing new places around the country, right? You know, we live in Tennessee and we're a day's drive from a ton of different places. Uh, something that I wanted to share that kind of inspired us to start doing this more was I was listening to Julian Blanc on YouTube um, and he had referenced something that was really eye-opening to me. So he was talking about how imagine if, you know, life is this new GTA game that came out, right? And, you know, it's the most amazing immersive game ever. And I'm going to lend it to you, but in seven days, I want it back. So most likely in those seven days, you're going to go out, you're going to explore, you're going to try everything, right? It's this crazy new, huge world. And then when you return it back to me, I'm going to ask you, like, what did you do? You're like, I explored. Well, think of life like that, right? You have this body that that's the vehicle here's the ride eventually that you're going to have to give the game back that's the game of life uh, what are you going to do what are you going to tell the person when you give it back that you just kind of stood still the whole time that you didn't really explore it was a little scary so you just played the taxi cab game and collected cash the entire time or are you going to tell them that you got out and explored and enjoyed life life of a YouTuber, so we get to take off and go wherever we want. Whenever. I know, right? Hello up there! You know, that kind of inspired us to really get out and just do more, right? You know, not everything has to be about this monotonous grind that is really the American dream these days. So I hope you guys enjoy coming along on this adventure with us and there's going to be many more to come. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Super freaking stoked for today's video. Sorry if the wind noise is bad. It is crazy windy out here and I don't know how it's going to sound on my phone. It might be horrible. I might have to do a voiceover over this, but that's okay. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of beach fishing. Uh, super stoked. We're out here in the OBX, Outer Banks area. This is the Cape Hatteras uh, National Seashore. Um, I really, all I brought was some light gear. I didn't bring any like set rigs or anything like that. Um, really not, you know, I wasn't really prepared for that, but um, I got some light gear. I'm just going to be doing some casting along the beach and uh, seeing what we can get into. All right, y'all. That was rough, man. Rough, 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 rough. I don't know if I got any bites or not. I don't think I did. I felt like I had a bite one time on the goofy jig, but I don't know. It could have been just hung up on the bottom. Um, the, the, the ocean is all churned up like crazy. Um, the waves were crazy, uh, and I didn't really have like the gear. I wasn't able to go to like the tackle shop or Walmart or anything before coming here because we got here so early. Um, so I just didn't have the chance to do that. Uh, so now what we're going to do is the girls are changing. Um, you know, we did have a good time at the beach. Um, obviously I'm sure I'm going to roll on a bunch of clips of that. Um, we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. Um, this area is just freaking beautiful. If you guys have not been here, uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Walmart actually, cause we got to get a few things for tonight. Uh, just for ourselves and I'm actually gonna scour the fishing section and probably grab some gulp uh, swimming mullets because I have a bunch of jig heads that I brought for those um, and if I would have had those on the beach maybe I'd have did a little better I don't really know but um, back in Florida I did really well with the gulp swimming mullet on a red jig head like quarter ounce uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some swimming mullet uh, and I'm probably gonna get some fish bites too because I've got like a sabiki rig um, I've got my light tackle and I did really well with fish bites actually back home. So I'll probably, if they got fish bites, I'll probably grab those. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna go up to Elizabeth City. Um, that's where we're staying tonight. And I might try to find like some bridges to fish under or 
I don't know. I think we're going to hit the beach this evening. So obviously I'll be bringing you guys along for that. Um, but yeah, just kind of want to give you an update. So that's what we're going to do. Catch y'all at the next spot. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Day two. Uh, day one yesterday was uh, basically an absolute failure. Um, I got skunked. Uh, the conditions were horrible. Like the wind was crazy. Um, this beach was just churned up. The surf was really bad. And uh, yeah, I couldn't catch anything. Also, I didn't get to go to the store and grab the gulp. Uh, so many mullets that I usually like to use. So today, I'm a little bit better prepared. I've got my gulp swimming mullets. I've got some fish bites and I got a three quarter ounce spoon, which I also forgot at home. So I got a new one. I'm a little out of breath running through the sand. Either way, pretty stoked. Uh, we're gonna be here for a few hours, um, probably until about 11 or so. And then we got to book it back to Knoxville. So hopefully we can get on some fish. All right, let's see what we can get into this morning. Got my quarter ounce jig head with a uh, all white swimming mullet on there. And uh, let's see what we can get into. Fish on, finally. Oh my god. Oh, a little flounder. Nice. Nice little flounder. Waning. So that was pretty awesome. Got a new species to add to the life list. And finally caught a fish for this trip. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's awesome. Alright y'all, we got the sabiki rigged up. I decided to go with that. I had one in the car and there's so many little 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 fish, so we're gonna cast it out and uh, see if we can't get anything with it. Nice, got a fish. Fish on. What do I got? Got a little baby. I don't know what this is, but it's a cute little guy either way. I'll have to look him up later. I knew the sabiki would do the trick. They're perfect for catching bait and little tiny fish. And fish bites are amazing. I love fish bites. You really can't go wrong with them. Fish on. What do we got? Let's see. Oh. Oh, guess not. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought I had a fish on, but apparently I did. All right, y'all, I gave up on the sabiki rig for now. I'm gonna be throwing this three quarter ounce spoon and um, see what we can't get into with this. Maybe we can catch us a better fish. Uh, I'm seeing stuff break the 
Um, I'm seeing like all these bait fish run and jump, you know, occasionally. So I know there's bigger fish in here. It's just a matter of getting them to bite something. Got here another little guy that's a cute one I don't even know what that is but I'm about to find out hold still dude cute little guy not sure what he is but we're gonna get him back in the water thanks for biting buddy Got one, fish on, nice. A little bit better of a fish too, it feels like. Better, it's just fighting good on this light rod. Get off me, just a dragonfly. What do we got? Let's see. Oh, a little, uh, I don't even know what that is. I have no clue, I'm not even gonna try. I am not good with my saltwater species. Nice little fish. Thanks for biting. Biting. Ooh. Fish on. Another one. That was like a smaller one though. Yeah. What's this? Oh, we caught one of these guys already. I'm trying not to dunk this reel. I don't think it's a saltwater approved or, you know, not like corrosion resistant, but I've used it plenty of times actually in saltwater and never had an issue with it. I just make sure I rinse it out. Oh, well, thanks for biting, buddy. And I've got a mess with the sabiki now. So I guess the moral of the story here is that, uh, Number one, come prepared to the beach. Make sure you bring beach fishing gear and, and lures and, and actually have all the stuff that you need before you get here because you'll fail on a day like I did whenever you forgot it and didn't get a chance to go to the store and get it. Uh, and then second is uh, you can easily catch bait off the beach with a sabiki rig and some fish bites. Um, uh, they're not biting too hot right now, but I mean, shoot, I've already caught three or four, so that's plenty to you know make some cut bait or even throw some live bait out. Um, that's usually what we used to do is, and I'd fish sabikis a lot under like bridges and stuff, and, um, oops, had a bite there, and, uh, you know, we would catch a ton of little bait fish doing that, so, um, you know, I think my objective today is a little bit different than catching bait, but, um, that's okay, you can use it to catch fish, or you can use it to catch bait. It's beautiful out here, though, and I do still, I do kind of feel out of my element, like, it's not my first time fishing off the beach, I've definitely done plenty of beach fishing back home, but... Uh, it was never something I was really that like good at. We would just kind of, you know, cast a line out and um, drink some beers and have a good time on the beach. And you know, we would catch little bonnet head sharks, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, either way, I'm having a good time. And you know, we caught some fish, so can't complain. just noticed when I casted that out that something actually bit the tail off of that gulp that I have on the back of the on the bottom of the sabiki rig just pretty hilarious actually it would have been fun to catch something on that and bring it in but I don't think this rod has enough backbone really to hook one like that to be honest fish on there we go what do we got Launch that fish bite, Sydney. Thanks for biting, buddy.
All right, y'all. Thanks for watching today's video. I had a freaking blast on this trip. Uh, we had a really good time. Obviously, I didn't catch as many fish as I wanted to, uh, nor the size of fish that I wanted to, but I wasn't really prepared either way, so I think it's okay. Um, I feel like we had fun. I know the girls had a blast, and it was a really nice, uh, just a quick, spontaneous trip. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have done that before, but um, if you haven't, you should. You know, just just get out of your comfort zone, explore your area. Um, you know, take a day's drive and just go see something new, you know, right? We had never been to Outer Banks and I'd been wanting to go there. Uh, we actually have plans to go back there, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be way more prepared this time. Um, but the next video we're gonna be doing there is we're actually gonna be camping on the beach. So you can camp on the beach there um, in some particular stretches of the beach. And um, I think that's gonna be a freaking blast, waking up to that beautiful scenery, um, catch a fish, cooking on the beach, um, the nine. So I'll probably be making a little series of videos there again uh, towards the end of the year when the weather's a little bit nicer and it's not so hot. And thanks again. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the video. It really means a lot to me. Um, and if you could do me a favor and press that like button, um, just absolutely demolish it. It lets YouTube know that you guys like the video and it lets me know as well. And don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming out every single Sunday and you're not gonna wanna miss them. So thanks again, and I'll see y'all in the next adventure.